So as you work around with morphing, you might want to actually use A's in and A's out. So it's not as simple as you go on to the timeline right here and then add an A's in just like you would in other uh, other animation options. So to add in uh, A's in and A's out while you're morphing, first of all, I'm going to create a morph animation. So I'm going to uh, use this rectangular shape and uh, morph it into a circle. So uh, I'm going to use black color for this one um, and I'm going to fill it out with something like new color. So I'm just going to fill it out with yellow color right over here. So there you go, I got my first shape. I'm going to go to my second drawing and here I'm going to enable onion skinning because I wanna see the shape I'm going to morph into. So I'm just going to morph into an elliptical tool right here. This is going to be black right over here. So just select this out. So this is going to be black and I'm going to fill it out with yellow color right over here. So this is my first uh, shape right over here. And then this is my second shape right over here. So after uh, that is done, I'm going to disable the onion skinning right over here. And then I'm going to add in the frame by pressing uh, shift plus right over here. So around 20 frame of animation, that's fine. So now I'm going to enable morphing by right clicking on it, going into morphing and create morphing just like that. So now you have a morph, a morph animation from a uh, square to a circle right over here. That is rectangular shape to a circle. So let's see how the morphing is actually taking place right here. So if I were to play it, you can see that it gradually happens, but there's no easing in and easing out happens, which seems kind of like robotic. Let me just decrease the frame rate right over here so that it actually increases time. So you can see that this is the type of morphing that is happening. So to work around with A's in and A's out in morphing, once you add in morphing, you actually get to this option right over here. So once you expand this out, go into morphing settings, you see the main morphing right over here. So you can select the main morphing and over here, you can find the A's in and the A's out. So right now it's set to zero. So let me set the A's out. I can just click and drag it to one. And here you can see what is happening right there. The A's in and A's out has been applied. So A's in has been applied. So if I were to press play, let's see what happens. So now it actually is very, very fast at the end. So it's gradually starts and ends fast as you can see. So let's do it opposite way. So I'm just going to leave this on to zero. So I'm going to change the A's out to one and let's see what happens. So you can see that it starts abruptly and then it ends out just like that. So now what I want to do is I just want to leave both at one and you can see the A's in and A's out like graph right over here. So it starts slowly and ends slowly right over here. You can see that now it looks much more uh, natural, uh, like a natural animation where there's A's in and A's out working into play just like that. And you really see the level of detail you can give to this just like this. So you can even have negative uh, A's in right over here. So that changes the graph right over there as you can see. So this is how everything happens out. So usually I like to have in the A's in and A's out both set up and this is how you see that the animation is much more natural and much more smooth. So that is how everything works like. So that is how you can apply A's in and A's out inside of morphing um, well, in Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.